Hey, I'm Christina with Tina Girl Travels. I'm here in the beautiful Okanagan Valley on Kalamalka Lake, one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. And we're going to check out Kakuli Bay Campsite, which is a provincial park here in the Okanagan. Let's go have a look. First of all, I need to mention that Kalamalka Lake in the south central part of British Columbia has been listed as one of the top 10 most beautiful lakes in the entire world by National Geographic. Let me show you on Google Maps just where I'm talking about today. Here we are in beautiful British Columbia. Down here is the southern interior, central southern interior of British Columbia, and the Okanagan Valley. This long lake here is called Okanagan Lake. Uh, Kelowna is right in the middle of it. It's the biggest city in the central interior of the Okanagan. And right here, now you can see Kalamalka Lake and you can see the gorgeous color of it. It's just unbelievably beautiful. This is Vernon up here. And right down here is a little village called Oyama, which is really pretty. All right, as we scroll in here, let me just adjust this. I'm gonna show you the highway here. So there's Kakuli Bay Provincial Park. And as we scroll in, you're gonna come up Highway 97 if you're coming from the Vancouver area or from anywhere south. And I want to show you this part of the road because it's a bit tricky actually uh, to find this. So Highway 97, there'll be an intersection. You're looking for Kalamalka Lakeview Drive. So you're going to turn right on that. And shortly after that, you're going to turn right on High Ridge Road. Now, I didn't actually see any signage at High Ridge Road. And I continued on the road. And it was a bit frustrating because it took me back to the highway. And I can imagine if you're pulling a 30 foot rig, that would not be fun. Okay, let's head into the park and have a look. The park gates are locked between the hours of 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. The campground is set up in a series of one-way loops. And you can see them there, three different loops. You can book your campsites on discovercamping.ca and I'll add a link to that below in my description. So there are four double spots available in this park. The fees in 2021 to camp here is $32 a night. Check-in starts at 1 p.m. all the way to 11 p.m. and check-out is promptly at 11 a.m. There is a park host available to help you out should you need it. He's located right near the entrance of the camping area. There are several notice boards around that you'll want to have a look at. A couple of warnings. One is for snakes. Now, I just want to say we've lived in the Okanagan for 25 years and I've never actually seen a rattlesnake in the wild. However, I have seen many bull snakes or gopher snakes as they're also called and they're actually harmless. But just leave them alone if you see them. The other thing this park has is poison ivy. They did a really good job with signage in the areas with poison ivy. So just be aware of that. You'll see signs like this yellow one. One thing I saw scurrying about this park were marmots. They are so cute and they're completely harmless. They just dig holes everywhere and they pop up here and there and they were running all over the campground. They are just so cute. Just leave them alone. Let them do their thing. Okay, I've sped this up considerably. I'm not really driving this fast, but I wanted to give you an idea of what this campground actually looks like. So as we turn down the first loop here, you can see that there's quite a bit of space between each campsite. There's lots of mature growth trees here. It's very lush. I filmed this in mid-May and every spot pretty much was filled. And I want to point out, see how the driveways to each of the spots is kind of diagonally placed, makes it easy for you to back your big rig in there and then easy to pull out when it's time to leave. It also gives you a lot of privacy within your spot. All right, as we continue on here, you can see that there really isn't anything on the right hand side. There's kind of a buffer between you and the people above you. More pit toilets right there, garbage cans right there. Um, you can see a few water spouts as we go by, like water spigots where you can fill your water. Make sure to boil your water for a couple of minutes before you use it though. All right, and here we go. We're gonna to turn to the right here and head out of this area. There's the washroom house right there to the right and there is parking right here actually for it which is perfect 
So the park has plenty of pit toilets all over and they also have a main washroom facility right in the middle with flush toilets. They also have sinks and warm showers, which is really nice for those of us who like to have a shower every morning. This facility also houses a wheelchair accessible shower and toilet between the men's and women's washrooms. Let's go inside and have a look at the women's washroom. You can see sinks with warm running water, uh, change room area out here there's one toilet in this facility a flush toilet and then there are two showers as well there also is a baby changing station in here let's have a look at what the campsites actually look like this one was empty so i hopped into it just to take a picture you'll have a gravel pad make sure if you're putting up a tent that it stays on the gravel each site has a fire pit and you can buy firewood for ten dollars a bundle or bring it in yourself there's a picnic table at each site and Kakuli Bay has a really nice playground area for the kids. It's surrounded by a grassy field, perfect for playing games and picnicking. If you're into cycling, bring your bike to this campground. The Okanagan's famous rail trail runs right through this park and you can literally ride your bike along the entire length of the lake and beyond. It's amazing, we love our rail trail. I'll add a link below in the description on the Okanagan rail trail so you can check that out in more detail if you're interested. Okay, we have to spend a minute and talk about the color of this lake because it changes throughout the year. Kalamalka Lake is called a marl lake and it contains limestone deposits and as the lake warms up in the summer, the carbonates form crystals which then reflect the sunlight to the surface giving the lake its unique color changing quality. It's absolutely stunning. So here's another picture I took when I was flying over the lakes in our area. The big lake on the left is Okanagan Lake and the one on the top right is Kalamalka Lake. You can see the colors changing a little bit there. And then you see that little bit of land separating the lakes, that's Oyama. And the lake below Oyama is Wood Lake and that's also a really pretty lake. So next we're gonna head down and check out the beach area. It's quite a long stretch of beach. It's a bit rocky, so bring chairs to sit on and water shoes. The lake tends to be a little warmer and a little calmer than Okanagan Lake. I visited a lot of campgrounds over the years and I have to say that they all have their pros and cons. This one, however, truly one of my favorites. It has a nice beach, it has a well thought out and easy to navigate boat launch with tons of parking, which I'll show you in a minute. The rail trail running right along the edge of the water is absolutely beautiful. Imagine being able to ride your bike along the shores of one of the most beautiful lakes in the world for miles and miles totally flat, easy to ride. The camp spots are private and they're pretty big and there's that playground and of course there's warm showers. So what else could you need? So we're having a look at the beach here. As you can see, it's a bit of a rocky beach. I guess you could ask for a sandy beach, but in this case, um, this might be one of the little cons, but it's little rocks. So definitely I suggest that you um, bring water shoes, like I said before. And uh, yeah, you got your floaties and your stand up paddle boards and oh, it's just amazing. So remember the boat launch parking I was talking about? Well, here it is. Tons of parking and let me show you the system they have set up for the boat launch. So the red squares are the active boat launch spots. That means you're actually loading or unloading your boat. The yellow spots are your turnaround spots and that seemed to be where the next launchers were parked and the blue spot is the waiting lane for the next ones up. Let me show you a video of what I'm talking about. So there's the active loaders and right over here is the turnaround spot. So these people are gonna be backing into those spots shortly to pull their boats out. Such a great system. I'm back at the top near the entrance and I just wanted to show you this trail called the Cal Crystal Waters Trail. Cal Crystal Waters Loop is a 24.3 kilometer loop trail and it's rated as moderate. Dogs are also able to use this trail but must be kept on a leash at all times. Okay, let's head out of the park and have a look at what to expect on High Ridge Road and Kalamalka Lakeview Drive on our way back to Highway 97. Take your time making that turn back onto Highway 97, especially if you're heading south. There isn't a dedicated merge lane, so you'll need to make sure that the traffic is clear.
Thanks so much for watching Tina Girl Travels. I hope I was able to help you out today and uh, make sure to click that subscribe and like button so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you next time on Tina Girl Travels.